Good day. Now we are going to talk about motion along straight line free fall. So to start, this is the definition of free fall. Free fall is the motion of a body where its weight is the only force acting on an object. And the best way to see the basic features of motion involving gravity is to start by considering straight up and down motion with no air resistance or friction. So sa mga problems na sasagutan natin about free fall, we will ignore air resistance and friction. This means that if the object is dropped, we know the initial velocity is zero. Once the object is in motion, the object is in free fall. Under these circumstances, the motion is one-dimensional and has constant acceleration, g, or the Earth's gravitational acceleration. Now, this is an example of an illustration of a free fall. So, for example, we have a ball. The ball is in free fall. So we have the time intervals and then the height or the distance that the ball reached as it goes down and its velocity. So as you can see, we have negative sign. Bakit negative sign yung uh, height ng ating ball? Kasi this pertains to the direction of the body. So, bakit negative? Kasi pababa. And then, for our uh, velocity, since alam natin na velocity is a vector quantity, meron din siyang negative sign pertaining that the velocity is downwards. So, next, to introduce to you the variables of free fall, same din to sa uniformly accelerated motion, but it change lang natin yung acceleration into negative uh, gravitational acceleration and then the displacement to y or height. So we have g, Earth's gravitational acceleration. This is constant, 9.81 meters per second squared in metric system and 32.2 feet per second squared in English system. We have velocity pa rin. We have time. And this one is the distance traveled or the displacement of the object, which is y or height. Now, here are the formula for free fall. So, napansin nyo, same lang din siya ng UAM, but change lang natin ang acceleration to g. And then, our displacement, naging height na siya. So, ang ginamit na natin is y. So, kung familiar na kayo sa UAM, magiging mas madali lang sa inyo yung free fall. So, proceed tayo sa sample problem para mas maintindihan natin. So, this is from what's more number 3. So, a juggler throws a bowling pin straight up with an initial speed of 8. 20 meters per second, how much time elapses until the bowling pin returns to the juggler's hand? <coughs> so, meron tayong given na constant G Earth's gravitational acceleration, which is 9.81 meters per second squared. And we have initial speed or velocity, which is 8.20 meters per second. So, ang hahanapin natin is time elapsed. So, for our solution, write natin yung given. We have 9.81 meters per second squared. For B sub 0, we have 8.20 meters per second. So, hanapin natin yung T. And then, this, nakikita nyo yung final velocity natin is 0. Bakit 0? Because upon reaching maximum height, object loses velocity and changes direction due to its gravitational pull, resulting to object's free fall. So, since ganito yung mga variables natin, ano yung pwede natin gamitin na equation? So, we can use the simplest equation, the equation 1. So, now, rewriting equation 1, we can get the 
equation for time. And then, for the solution, let's substitute our given. So we have final velocity at 0, initial velocity at 8.20, and then our uh, gravitational acceleration is 9.81. So magkakam apply sa sagot na 0 0.84 seconds. Okay, sana malinaw. So nakikita nyo halos parehas lang talaga siya ng UAM. Ang kaibahan lang is ang uniformly accelerated motion ay horizontal while this free fall is vertical yung ating displacement. Next sample problem we have from additional activities number one. A lunar lander is making its descent to moon base one. The lander descends slowly under the retro thrust of its descent engine. The engine is cut off when the lander is five meters above the surface and has a downward speed of 0 0.8 meters per second. With the engine off, the lander is in free fall. What is the speed of the lander just before it touches the surface? The acceleration due to gravity on the moon is 1.6 meters per second squared. So, anong given natin? We have the height. So, meron tayong 5 meters per, 5 meters rather. This is the initial kasi dito siya, dito nagsimula na mag free fall yung engine. And then, I mean yung lunar lander. Mag-free fall yung lunar lander. 5 meters above the surface. And then, meron tayong downward speed na 0 0.8 meters per second. And moon's gravity, which is 1.6 meters per second squared. Ang pinapahanap sa atin ay ang velocity nito, speed nito, bago ito mag-touch sa surface. Bago huminto. So, for the solution... Okay, we have the initial height, 5 meters above the surface. So, syempre, kung pababa siya, yung final height niya is yung sa ground. Then, we have initial velocity, 0 0.8. And then, gravity sa moon, 1.6 meters per second squared. And then, ang hahanapin natin is final velocity. So, mapapansin niyo wala tayong time. So, hindi natin pwedeng gamitin yung first, three equations. So, matitira tayo sa equation 4. So, let us substitute. Okay, rewrite the equation and then substitute natin. We have initial velocity, 0 0.8 and then we have gravity sa moon, 1.6. We have final height, 0 and then initial height is 5. So, as we compute, ang makukuha nating sagot ay 16.64 meters squared per second squared. Pero yung unit niya is hindi pa siya meter per second kasi ang velocity dapat ay meter per second. And makikita din natin yung final velocity naka-square pa. So, anong gagawin natin? So, we can uh, extract this by getting the square of both sides. So, Ano ang square square root? I mean, square root ng v squared is v. And then, we get the square root of this side, 16, square root of 16.64 meters squared per second squared will be 4.08 meters per second. So, nakuha na natin yung kanyang final velocity. Okay, for the last sample problem, we have additional activity number 5. So, a 15 kilogram rock is dropped from rest on the earth and reaches the ground in 1.75 seconds. When it is dropped from the same height on Saturn's satellite Enceladus, the rock reaches the ground in 18.6 seconds. What is the acceleration due to gravity on that moon? So, ang given natin, constant gravity ng Earth, 9.81. And then, we have the time elapsed nung ginawa yung pag-drop ng rock dito sa Earth, 1.75 seconds. And then, we have the time na ginawa naman yun dun sa satellite. We have 18.6 seconds. And then, sinabi dito, when it is dropped from the same height. 
So, ibig sabihin, kukunin muna natin yung height nung dinrap ito sa earth. And then, ayun din yung gagamitin nating height kapag idadrap na siya sa Enceladus. So, anong lalabas na gravity? Acceleration due to gravity sa satellite na yun. So, for the solution, let's uh, jot down all the given. We have Earth's gravitational acceleration. We have the initial uh, velocity, which is zero since free fall. Then we have the time elapsed sa Earth and then time elapsed sa Enceladus. And ang hanapin natin is gravity acceleration due to gravity sa Enceladus. So, pwede natin gamitin dito ay ang equation number 3 because equation 1 and 2 is kailangan ng uh, 1, 2, and 4. I mean, kailangan ng final velocity pero wala tayong given. So, sa equation 3, tayo. So, first, kunin muna natin yung height sa Earth nung ginawa yung pag-drop sa rock. So, meron tayong Final height, since ito ay drop, so magiging zero since sa ground. And then, ang hahanapin natin is the initial height, kung gaano kataas bago i-drop yung rock. Since zero na yung ating initial velocity, hindi ko na siya sinulat. So, dito na lang tayo mag-focus sa neg minus one half gt squared. So, Mapapansin nyo, wala na yung negative. Bakit? Kasi, di ba, zero ito, so magiging negative initial height. So, i-multiply natin sa negative 1 both sides so para maging positive. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 1 half times 9.81 times 1.75 squared. This is positive, okay? So, ang magiging ating initial height is 15 0.02 meters. Okay, so ibig sabihin, since sabi, sabi sa ating problem, from the same height, drop from the same height. So itong 15.02 meters ang gagamitin din natin sa pag-solve ng gravitational acceleration sa Enceladus. So we have, okay, let's substitute. Meron tayong initial height na 15.02 meters. And then, zero pa rin to, since zero ang ating initial velocity. And then, this one, sub substitute natin ang ating given. Negative one half, yung G na hinahanap natin. And then, ang time sa Enceladus is 18.6. So, 18.6 squared. So, that will come up to the gravitational acceleration sa Enceladus is 0 0.087 meters per second squared. So that's it for uh, the concepts about free fall.